This is the first bike that I was literally scared of. Okay, if you're new to this channel, guys, I'm Johnny Nerdout. I take bikes and I convert them into amazing e-bikes. Generally, whatever, whatever the customer wants, they dream it, we build it. This is obviously, you can tell what kind of person this is. They got a super high-end, full suspension bike. This is the Polygon Siskiyou T8. Just a really nice, smooth, full suspension bike. All right, so these got 29 by 2.6 inch tires on it. These are monster truck wheels. They're fat and big. These will go over anything. And you couple that with a full suspension on it, and it's not a junky full suspension either. These are Fox components. This thing is like a cloud. You're riding over on a cloud. Okay, now I wanna, I wanna talk about, I'm gonna get to everything else, but first I'm gonna talk about the drive frame. We've done X1 Pros before. This is the Gen 4 by CYC. You know, these are, these are probably the most powerful motors out there. They're capable, the, with the X12 controller, these are capable of pulling 80 amps. And a 72 volt battery, as you guys all know, is 84 volts max. So 80 times 84 is over 6,000 watts. That's like nine horsepower. It's it's crazy. And this bike weighs probably 50 pounds. I'll have to get my, I'll get my weight out here and I'll, I'll check it out. But this is about 50 pounds. So you do the horsepower to weight ratio on that. And it's like five pounds to every horsepower. But not only that, it's also how you gear it. This thing is ge geared for torque. And I'm going to show you a video here in a second of me trying to not wheelie on this thing. But we went with a small chain ring up front. It's a 32 tooth. And then you could see this massive pancake granny gear in the back. This is 51. So when you got a 51 tooth by 32 teeth, by 6,400 watts, it means just more torque, more power than anything can, can handle. And I know a lot of people are like, you're just gonna shred your bike. Not really, because all that power, if there was a lot of resistance, yes, you would. So if you were starting off in your lowest gear, yeah, that would probably just shred those teeth off of that, that, that highest gear. And I keep, when I'm looking at the low gear, the smallest gear, I mean the highest gear, because you're only grabbing onto about five teeth. That would probably, 6,500 watts on five teeth, probably would shred stuff off. But when you're on this, the thing just moves. There's not a whole lot of resistance. And that's the thing, where it's like, you're just gonna break your bike in half. Not if you ride it properly. If you're riding this thing correctly, you will not break it. But really quick, I wanna show, th there's, there's some footage of me trying to not wheelie. I'm, I'm trying to lean as far as I can over while still being able to hit the throttle. <laughs> Come on, man. Wheelie. If I held that thing down, it would just go straight over no matter what. And you can see it's, I, you can't do it. <laughs> it was just, it was crazy power. Um, that was set to max power. So obviously you want to dial this thing down from normal riding. That was just for showing how much power is capable on this thing. What I would do is I would dial it down. I'd put, set this thing to nine levels of assist, ride it on like one or two. And with the ride control app, you could slide the power super easy. So you can make it, hey, I want pedal assist one to just be 500 watts max. I mean, you can make this thing a street legal setup. I know a lot of you guys are out there are like, this thing is illegal, you're ruining it. It doesn't have to be. It's capable of doing that, but this thing can be a street legal machine. But you know, this is going to somebody off in kind of a remote island, a low population island, and uh, they want this to be their car. They don't want to be driving around their, their car anymore. This is going to be it. And this is a great way to, to, to have a car alternative. Um, you know, obviously you'd probably put like a rear rack or something on here. I don't know, this is a dropper seat post, so you might not want to clamp onto something here, but you could put one that, you know, universal full suspension rack that would mount to your seat stay here. That way you get a little bit more functionality out of it. But yeah, this thing's got hydraulic Shimano hydraulic brakes, work awesome, Fox front fork, Fox rear shock. Um, this is a size large. And you could see with this battery here, we weren't able to put a giant battery in here, but we were able to use, this is the 72 volt nine amp hour battery from Bicycle Motor Works. It's using the, the Molly Cell batteries. I think they're called the P45B. This battery can put out 90 amps continuous, um, but you know, the, the X1 Pro only pulls 80. So this is well within its operating realm. You know, so it's not gonna be straining that battery at all, which is crazy. Those Molly Cells are put out crazy crazy power. I think it's like 45 amps a cell is what that's doing because that's too parallel. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even going to do a hill climb test on this. I'm not even going to do a top speed test on this. You guys know the top speed on this is going to be over 50 miles an hour. The hill climb test, I, I would just flip myself over if I even tested it. So it, it, for me, I'm like, it's pointless. I'm just going to have to do half throttle. And at that point, why even show the test? 
or I'm gonna flip it and ruin this bike before I ship it out to the customer. <laughs> so I don't, want to, I don't want to do either one of those. But you can imagine what kind of hill climbing this would do. This would climb this wall if it had the glue on the tires. I'm trying to think of anything else I want to talk about with this bike, but no, I mean, it's got the dropper seat post. Uh, we went with, oh, we also, we put on the uh, CYC headlights on this. This is really cool. It's got the dual beams. So dual headlights, and it's got the yellow and the white headlights. And this runs in line with the CYC off the XT90s. Super easy to install, and it comes with a little rocker tail switch here. I got this on my CYC bike. I wish it had a tail light thing. I wish that's something that they would work on. Maybe in the future they will. And then they went with the DS103 display. This one works up to 72 volts. So it's a nice display. It shows you a lot more information at a glance over the SW102. But if you want to keep the, your, your handlebars, your cockpit, kind of decluttered, go with the SW102 and you could always just use your phone as a backup dashboard. I mean, you could turn it sideways and get all the information there on your phone. Or if you want to have it on your display, get the DS103. This is the first bike that we've had that can use full 80 amps and with this gearing. <laughs> so it's, it's pure torque. This thing is pure torque, which is really good because it just means that the motor is going to last forever. And it should be really good on your drivetrain if you're using the gears correctly. Cool. All right. If you guys have any questions about this, uh, go to johnnynerdout.com. If you want to see, get links to uh, all the parts we use on this, go check out the description of the video. Uh, if you want help building your bike, go to johnnynerdout.com. Go to book a consultation. Be happy to help you build your bike, uh, save you a bunch of money so you don't order the wrong parts and all that. All right. Later, guys.